wondering, like, how do I say focus when I'm praying? Yes. I have, I have to feel that I am alone with the Lord. I am in a different atmosphere. So I, I isolate myself from the whole world. So as the Lord said, go into your room, shut your door, and pray to me. So I have to feel that I am alone with God. I can pray with a big loud voice. So I can hear my voice. It makes me concentrate more and more. And I can use my movement. Some prayer, especially career lesson, when you do career lesson 41 times, I can do it by doing a matanias, 41 matanias, during the 41 uh, career lesson. So when I hear my voice, I touch my agbeya, I look, so many senses now are working, so I concentrate more. I never forget that I am standing in the presence of God. O oh Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Welcome to my new episode. I hope all of you are doing very well. I have to admit it. I miss all of you so much. So let me tell you that the purpose of this episode is to share with you some notes and some tips that I follow while I'm praying. I got these notes and tips from my father of confession. He guided me and I'm applying that while I'm praying. So please stay tuned. And before we get started, please don't forget to hit subscribe button and activate your notification bell and the most but not the least guys it's very very important for me is to yes hit the like button let's get started all right guys now i want to show you the tools which i'm using while i'm praying so the first thing I'm using is my symbols. I'm using the symbols to play some hymns before I start my prayer. The second tool is definitely my Agbeya. I'm praying from my Agbeya. And my favorite tool is the cross. Why I like the cross? Because it's helping me a lot to get out of distraction. Every time I get distracted or losing the focus, I am doing the sign of the cross. This helping me a lot to stay focused while I'm praying. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you when do you need to sign yourself with the cross. We are using the sign of the cross in the introductory prayer. When we say, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord bless us, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever, Amen. When we say Kyrie Eleison or Lord have mercy, we do the sign of the cross. And also before doing Matanya, we do the sign of the cross. The word holy need to be attached with the sign of the cross. So every time you say holy, 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 you do the sign of the cross. When you say holy God, holy almighty, holy immortal, you do the sign of the cross. When you say, oh holy trinity, have mercy upon us, you do the sign of the cross. that my father of confession gave me. Pray out loud, nice and slowly. So sometimes we pray a little bit too fast and it doesn't help us concentrate. So for example, sometimes people go, let us give thanks to the gracious and merciful God, the Father of our Lord God, well, very fast, yeah? But what, what's nicer is to pray slowly and then to stop 
after every paragraph and to offer a personal prayer. For example, in the Thanksgiving prayer, we could start, let us give thanks to the gracious and merciful God, the Father of our Lord, God and Saviour Jesus Christ, for He has protected, assisted, preserved and accepted us, spared us, supported us and brought us to this hour. So that's a paragraph and we'll just stop there. I could close my eyes and think, okay, throughout this day, when has God protected, assisted, spared, supported me? And then I could thank God for that. So for example, thank you God because this morning there was a situation at school but you helped me. Thank you God because you helped dad with this thing at work. Thank you God because you helped mum with this thing at work as well. Thank you God because you helped my sister or my brother with this. So what we do is we turn the prayer to be very personal for us. So first thing is to have a prayer corner. Second thing, nice and slowly. And the third thing is to stop in every section and to offer a personal prayer. Now, when we get distracted, because it happens to all of us, when we get distracted, we don't have to fight the distraction, say, no, 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 I should be focusing. Very, very calmly, we just stop, take a few deep breaths, and then just go back to the section that we were in, very peacefully. Okay, guys, let's conclude the video. So, the first thing, don't forget to go to your room, shut your door, and calm down before you start praying. Use your IPA for the prayer to God you are praying, and don't forget that you have a powerful tool called the cross. Every time you get distracted, do the sign of the cross, and try to do the sign of the cross as many as you can. And don't forget that you are not in a hurry. Don't rush. Slow down while you are praying. Try to understand every single word you are saying. That will help you to make the prayer more meaningful. Okay guys, I hope you liked the video. So, if you have any question related to the Agbeya or the prayer, please send me your question to the email which will appear on the screen right now. And stay tuned for my next video because I'm going to answer all your questions. I miss you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you next video. Bye!